Okay, and welcome everybody here in chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for our next deck, which is going to be another version of Sultai Sanity. Uh, this was a donation deck that, if you just saw that, uh, was originally sent in as Explorerless Sultai, but you can't really call it Explorerless Sultai when we have this Jade Light Ranger in here, right? And then also I was thinking about making like the YouTube thumbnail and like Explorerless Sultai. Explorerless is like a really long word and that would be hard to do. Um, so let's just go back to Sultai Sanity. We played a Sultai Sanity deck earlier, um, and that's basically what this deck is here. We're, we're a Sultai deck that's kind of based around Thieves of Sanity instead of the Explore stuff. Angel, thanks for that resub. Thank you so much. You are amazing. I really do appreciate that. That gets our sub battle countdown down to 198. Brand new thing starting today. Whenever we get the countdown down to zero, we're going to spend an entire day of just uh, playing against subs here in uh, on stream. It'll be a lot of fun. So that'll be a special day whenever we get that there. And so um, let's see. Anything else? Basically, you know, Sultai is just a pile of good cards, right? Like, you know, we're playing just kind of normal Sultai stuff. The other thing that's different here besides not playing the explore creatures for Thief of Sandy, we need other things to fill the curve, so we're going Thought Erasure. So we're going Thought Erasure, Thief of Sanity, you know, so much more Demir heavy uh, with those cards. So we'll see how those work out. We still got our Land of War Elves. Um, we got Frilled Mystic along with Hostage Taker, so we'll kind of see how our mana base works out with those. Um, and I like the Vraska Relic Seeker at the top end. That card's great. Um, so yeah, let's give it a try. Sultai Sanity. That's fun to say. Ah, uh, I already do have a deck with that name. Alright, well I'm just going to throw this extra Y on here for now. Submit deck. Here we go. It's even more sanity -y -er. So much sanity going on here. Last night we just passed over the 1.3 million view mark for the Twitch channel. That's pretty sweet. I liked drafting Ixalan too. I actually, like, so I played a, a lot of regular Ixalan, not with rivals, but regular just Ixalan limited uh, whenever the set very first came out because there was a limited Grand Prix, a, a team limited Grand Prix that I was going to. Um, at the time and so I was practicing for it and I actually drafted a lot of green black explorer and made a lot of like green black explorer like GBX like maybe Jund explorer like that kind of those kind of decks um, which was not a popular popularly drafted archetype so I was actually drafting wild growth walkers all the time and lurking chupacabra uh, and that kind of stuff because nobody was taking those like I, I would just wheel wild growth walker People didn't. I don't think people realized how good Wild Growth Walker was at the time. Uh, you know, it wasn't played and constructed at all. It was, you know, everybody was drafting their Merfolk or their Dinosaur or their Pirate deck, you know, or Vampire, you know, like one of those decks. People were just not not picking Wild Growth Walkers, and I used to. So I used to play Explorer decks all the time. Chupacabra. What's our opponent doing over here? Demir stuff. I call that the Seeker deck. That's what, like, uh, I, I played that limited GP with Tom Ross, and we were, like, building decks and everything. We're like, ooh, do we got enough for a Seeker deck? Can we, can we go, go Seeker deck route? And it was a lot of fun. Both of my decks, that limited GP, were the secret decks. Uh, Jody would get, like, the big dinosaur deck. Tom would get, like, the the pirate deck. And so that was, like, the Naya cards and then the Demir cards. And then I would just kind of get this hodgepodge of just, like, random stuff that makes them, like, explore mid-range deck. Hmm. 
Let's see what else they got. I think I may just like let this resolve, honestly. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just not gonna pay the two. Because not paying the two means I can adapt to this thing and play Jade Light Ranger. <clears throat> anyway, that's that's the story about my life. Ooh, don't even want Eldest Reborn. Dang. So next turn we could cast down the troops and attack Karn for a bunch. An excellent choice. Patient rebuilding? Dude, patient rebuilding could like kill me. I'll just give him a counter spell. No, I, I think I, I don't think that my opponent cast spell pierce because they had something good. I, I think that if you're casting spell pierce like that, you you don't have anything good. And you just want to th throw away a spell pierce kind of thing. Like I could certainly see spell pierce being like the only thing they had. The time has come. Kind of thing. Alright, so they're gonna go get the patient rebuilding. Ah. They do get to sabotage as well. But we'll make them use the sabotage here. And play a very large Hydro Cases next turn. Ooh. That card's good. Hmm. That does mean that we're attacking for three less, but getting that Let's adaptation on the Incubation Druid means an even bigger Hydro Crisis next turn. Probably just be taking a land here. Nope. I guess we'll take in a Crisis. Six, eight, ten. Ten's a lot. That's a lot. Hey, Zan, games are going good. Okay, Chemist's Insight. Silly Chemist's Insight. How many cards do you draw with that? Two? That's not very many. Why don't you just play Hydro Crisis? You get to draw five. <laughs> Two cards. So little cards. All right, going to game two. All right, I need to make a image for Boros Agro. All right, so they're like Demir control stuff. Um, I think I want Stroke, Negate, Duress. Playcrafter is probably not that bad. Definitely Relic Seeker. Definitely Frilled Mystic. And Cast Down. They're coming through with their Thief. Hmm. I don't really see any cards that are bad.
you know, I could see like keeping in some removal for like their thief of sanity kind of thing or hostage taker. Maybe I don't need my own hostage takers. They're pretty expensive and vulnerable. Lover, I did not. Yeah, all of our cards are pretty good. Good to see cutting land war elf. We're at 25 land deck also. Probably just don't need to be like super fast or anything. We got all of this like early stuff anyway. Probably just don't need the land war elves. Um, that puts us at 63. So let's go one cast down, one taker, and find finality. Another taker. Maybe another taker. Okay. So the TLDR about the a shuffler post on Reddit is that the the original shuffler is kinda broken and the mulligan fixes it sorta kinda I'm very skeptical there's anything with the shuffler that's broken Yeah, Dutch, that's... I would recommend trying out that uh, Merfolk list that was sent. It looks pretty good. I wanted to see if our opponent had anything for Thief of Sanity, but of course with them having as Kanta and them basically getting four looks towards having something with Thief of Sanity. Then of course they have two different counters for Vivian. I don't need to like try to really protect, you know, have that work out so well. Lover, you can post the link here in chat if you want. Go ahead and... <laughs> Let's get forest. <laughs> there you go, Joyf. I'm I'm here all night playing. You don't want to play your own games? Just have me up on the screen. Sit back, grab your popcorn, watch some good old magic. All right, and they tapped out for the murder, which allows us to resolve this Viviano. Feel the wrath of Scala. And the game ends. You can't stop nature. Yep, or you can watch and, and also slam some. Wow. Krasis drawing double Krasis? That is a Krasis miracle. Poor Demir opponent, never, never stood a chance. Well, we are one and zero, but this thing is t <laughs> this. This is not very, very close to the the one win mark. <laughs> and that pun did kill my opponent. I couldn't handle it. Yeah, we've done really well with all of our uh, times playing Soul Tie, really. Uh, I guess the last, yesterday we played 
um, a soul tie. What was different about it? We play, we did play one soul tie list yesterday that I think we went 3-2, I think? It was either 2-2 two, two or 3-2. Two. I think that's like the only time we've played soul tie that wasn't five wins. Ooh, let's play first. Pripyat. All right, Vivian. I need you to come down here on turn four. Yeah, Frilled Mystic worked out well that game. The card's just really strong. I like me some Frilled Mystic. Uh, let's see. Is it the absolute best in Soul Tie? Like, by that I mean, like, does the best list of Soul Tie play Frilled Mystic? It's a good chance the answer to that is no. Soul Tie has so many good cards that they get to choose from. Okay, I need a. I need a Boros. Here we go, for Boros Aggro. I would Okay, I was gonna say I would not be surprised if that got countered. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? I don't think I need to get rid of that Fire Mines research. That's pretty whatever. Balance comes. our explore list soul tie deck with their explore card that's a great thief of sanity against the control deck or sorry that's a great jade light ranger against the control deck okay all right all done with the uploading the boros aggro to youtube all right i'm back Gotta be a counter spell here, right? Definitely consider just adapting the druid and then having the druid and the jade light attack. Then next turn being able to go Krasis. Um, or even just next turn we could have double Vivian. Yeah, our opponent knew about that that Vivian though. Um. Every fight makes me stronger. So research can deal five damage now. I 
We have Krasis for nine next turn with a shock land. Never mind. Now Krasis for six. I know, our opponent, they yoinked our druid. They yoinked our druid. Now they get all the mana. But Krasis is busted. <laughs> and Krasis is a, a brainless card. Have you seen this card? How can you call that a brainless card? It's like 25% of the yard is just a brain. It's like the... Did. It's like the, the most brainful card. I can't be further away th from brainless. <laughs> Alright, now we have Frilled Mystic or Incubation Druid. Adapting going on. Anticipate. Yeah, we had to. Yep, I play. Yeah, I'll play main deck or uh, mainstream decks. You know, they're part of the donation decks, absolutely. And so, yeah, this was a donation deck and. This is, you know, a little bit off the beaten path. This is, you know, explorerless Sultai kind of thing. Like, we we have the one Jade Light Ranger. No Branch Walkers, Wild Growth Walkers, just one Jade Light. So it's a little bit off the beaten path. But, yep, yeah, these are all donation decks today. Yeah, it's not really so much Reclamation. Rude. Can't be countered. You may counter. Guess we don't have to counter. So they still have the three mana with Incubation Druid. Yeah, Niv Miz is about the only card that we could imagine losing to. Yeah, like where where we're at, like with the frilled mystic, there's there's really nothing else in the format that they're going to be doing in blue and blue and red. They'd have a chance. But it looks like they didn't have more spells, so they just have to chump block. Alright, so if I want to keep four mana available for Frilled Mystic, I can still do that and play Krasis for six. Six is a good number. Wait. No, eight. Oh, my gosh. Well, 
That's crazy. Wrong blue green card. I was looking at the mana. I was not looking at the card that I was choosing for my hand. And I just took the wrong blue green card. <laughs> I mean, our opponent's still going to be conceding here, most likely. But I don't think it's going to matter. <laughs> We're just, just really flexing. <laughs> just asserting dominance, yeah. Yeah, I was looking, you know, I was just looking at my mana situation, making sure it was okay, you know, like looking at the four cards, just kind of, you know, just out of the corner of my eye, took the blue green card. And then I look up and the frilled mystics on the stack. Whoopsie. All right, so is it. Uh, Drake's kind of so they got Fire Minds Research, Enigma Drake. Um, Harpooner is probably pretty good. I don't know. All these cards are very like you know can be situationally good. Disdainful Stroke, Negate Duress, all that kind of stuff. Playcrafter is good. We have a bunch of like cards that are pretty good. How do we fit all of them in here? I think I think hostage taker I may be less interested in. I don't know. I just got the land werewolves again. <laughs> Can't counter Niv Mizzet. Um, maybe I just keep cutting land werewolf after board. Is Thief going to do anything? That's a good question. That I don't think it really will, right? Like, they're just going to shock Thief. They'll have a blocker. Maybe Thief just doesn't actually do anything. Would I rather have Duress and Negate than Thief? Maybe. I'll, I'll play that one Thief. I'll get him, just like we have the one Jade Light. Bring in the duresses because I think duress can do a better job of ensuring uh, Vivian or Vraska to resolve. I think Vivian, Vivian and Vraska are going to be key cards for us. I don't think Thief is going to steal anything. I think they'll just block it or shock it or, I don't know, whatever the third word is. You think go block, shock, or, I don't know, what's the... Th What's a, a nice, what's a third term that goes with that? Zap? Block shock or zap? Mm -hmm. Blink or insight? Alright, JGR read the shuffler post. Cool, so what does it say? So, JGR says, it basically says the land draw clusters in the, the land draws cluster so we take this enigma drake I need some land land draws cluster in the wrong direction both ways keep two lands and you're going to draw more spells keep four lands and you draw more lands Mulligan seems to improve the variance of of the clustering. Hmm. Interesting. So I didn't want the you know, so I wanted to wait till they cast their insight and tapped out before I uh, incubation druided. Well, that's just plain rude. All right, let's go cycle, cycle crisis. Definitely good. I, I'm really glad I kept that land on top before. Mm. 
So I can Harpooner and take the... And basically trade with the Dive Down. Or I can just play Crafter and and their Dive Down's out of there. Or, you know, they don't get to Dive Down anymore. I can just ditch the Dive Down to Insight. I wish I had 5 mana. I wish I could Harpooner plus play Crafter. I kind of want to eat the... Eat the dive down though. That's probably not very good. Yeah, I should probably just be doing this. The double harpooner doesn't doesn't work because once they cast the dive down, then the second harpooner doesn't do anything. So like no reason to cast the second harpooner because the dive down lasts until end of turn. Yeah, Shuffler's broken. We're not drawing a land. Shuffler's broken. Confirmed. Confirmed. Everything's wrong with the Shuffler. We're not drawing a fifth land. This game's rigged. Okay, it's unrigged. Shuffler works again. Confirmed. Kill this thing. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. <laughs> ah, not again. That can't help you now. Please don't draw a counter spell. Yay, no counter. Wild animals I like. I've seen things that would break someone like you. More lands. So you don't need the shuffler when you just get to look at five lands a turn. That's good enough. There are five cards a turn between your draw step and Viv's tick up. You get to see five cards. You'll find a land out of there Come somewhere. To me. Why not? Okay. Vivian's still going to eight. Going to. No one knows the wilds like I do. Ultimate next turn. If I play Krasis, I Krasis for five. Which means I draw two, which means I don't have to discard. Sure, waiting till next turn we you know technically get to get another card, but I mean come on, we have we have enough cards. We don't really need to do we don't really need to have a larger crisis. So we can have indestructible creatures, like indestructible harpooners. It is time. I wish I could Assassin's Trophy my own thing, since it's indestructible. And just go get a basic. Alright, alright. Sure, I could trophy that in response. Don't really see the need to, though. Right. 
Remember, the Harpooner has reach also. We have two blockers for Crackling Drake currently. That both of our blockers are indestructible. So our opponent needs mass manipulation. They could take Krasis and Vraska Relic Seeker. We'd still win pretty easily. But that's what they need. Alright, that's annoying. And we have lethal. We are 2-0. Oh, hey, we just played that in our last deck. Sultai Sanity. With an extra Y. Yeah, Vivian's real good. All right, we're living the dream. We got turn two Thief of Sanity on the play. Living the dream. Hope when our opponent's playing some deck that doesn't interact a ton, like this is a, a great hand against like Wilderness Reclamation, for example. We're also having with the Assassin's Trophy. Ooh, nice. We don't even need to shock. There. Godless Shrine means that it's probably not Wilderness Reclamation, but you never know. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't kill the thief. Hey, Sothian. <laughs> now this is like a hand that would beat up on Reclamation, that's why I want to play it. <laughs> my opponent's like looking at my mana base. <laughs> like turn 2 Thief. Alright, I'm, I'm thinking this is Esper Control. That did not have like a cast down or anything uh, early. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sideboard like this is Esper Control. Uh, let's get Disdainful Stroke, Negate, Duress. In here, Playcrafter, probably pretty cool. Uh, Vraska, Frilled Mystic. Uh, those look pretty good to me. So they could have their own Thieves. Man, do we have any bad cards against Esper Control? I'm just gonna. Am I just cutting Llanowar off again? Yeah, there's, there's certainly other decks that it could be. I'm gonna sideboard like Esper Control, and then if it's not, you know, we'll reevaluate. For a future game. Takers out. And then this is 63. Get rid of some Lalana Wars. <laughs> it's Vamps. I'll keep one hostage taker in just in case it's like a, a mid range or you know some other deck. Just in case. Uh, 
just in case. All right, if you need to up your sunglasses or watch game, if you need a, a new watch, a nice looking watch, or if you need some sunglasses, check out Movement. Use my referral link and then coupon code TOTSTEVENSMTG gets 15% off your store purchase. And you get a free donation deck if you make a purchase as well. So if you'd like a donation deck like all these people, that's a way to do it. Get yourself a sweet new watch. Ooh, double find. I mean, I like our mana, but I don't think I want to keep double find when we don't have any creatures. Honestly, maybe I should have cut a find just in general. I'm thinking this mulligan. What are y'all thinking? I'm thinking mulligan. Even though we have good mana and a disdainful stroke, we're on the draw so we can draw spells. All right, everybody's saying mull too. Man. See, I liked the, the good mana. Good mana was cool. Yeah, the hand didn't do anything. But it, it let us hit land drops. Land drops are good. Alright, Thief of Sanity. We need you to win again. You won the first game. Double cast down. All right, so we got Orzov Knights. Not exactly Esper Control. Maybe they're missing their third color and their Esper Knights. The gate's pretty nice. You know, turn five, we can play this thief and counter the cast down. Or I could just let it die to cast down and then find next turn. It sounds like a plan. Then we negate the other one. I don't no, I haven't really played Ar Orzov Knight since RNA. I've played a couple Orzov mid-range decks that was like that were very similar, but I didn't you know that had that had um Really? Really Frill Mystic? Why can't you just be a land? I need a playcraft to this thing. Or I need you Frilled Mystic last turn. Just the worst timing for Frilled Mystic. Play a History Benalia. History of Benalia. Still. It's not a History of Benalia. Abzan. Alright, I'm going to need this thief to find some kind of removal spell that my opponent's chilling with over there. Maybe they have Mortify that he killed this Lyra with. Called it. Unfortunately, we did not get the third land or another land we need play crafter plus mortify here um not gonna be able to stay alive let's see what see what you're working with they got fine finality all right
Well then. Switch it up. Audible, audible, audible. Back to elves and hostage taker. And... How does Playcrafter sack Thief Let Me Live? They would just sack their knight. And they would just kill me with the Lyra. Yeah, I could have Harpooner for Lyra and Shalai. I don't know. Do I want the? I don't really want these elves, right? Or nah? This is 61. I think I like Negate, protecting Thief. Maybe I should just be taking out Thief because they're playing Angels and getting getting through Angels is tough. I guess we got a lot of removal though. It's kind of like what our whole deck is now is like removal. Elf is good but so is all the other cards in our deck. Like all of our cards are good. It's kind of hard to play only 60, honestly. There's, you know, a good amount of those sideboard cards that would not be bad, but we can only fit 60 in here. Crowd of the Carnarium would be good against uh, History Banali and Knight of Grace, yes. Which Knight of Grace can be a problem. But there'll be other times where we'll have like our two toughness or less things and, and I don't really want to cry out the carnarium and I don't know. It's not not bringing it in. They're gonna have cry the carnarium on me. That'd be gross if they just suddenly have Cry of the Carnarium in their deck. Hi. Huh? Good thing Kaya doesn't really do anything. Living or dead. I cut one of the fines, so I only have I only have one You're fine finality. I cut here. the land war elves, so there's it doesn't minus to get rid of anything. Let's the wilds are my shield. Bye. Okay. Definitely want land. Come to me. It's unfortunate tick up for Vivian. We put a lot of cards that I would like down to the bottom. It's a very unfortunate for tick up for Vivian there. Bye -bye. So if they have Lyra or Shalai, Vivian gets to get rid of those.
they're they have Kai in their deck because of um, because of Land War Elf, and then also the cause find finality. And we were just going to hostage take out the Seraph there, be able to cast the Seraph, hit him with Thief. And Das Game. That is win number three, 3-0. Three oh. That's what happens when you have Vivian Reed out on turn four, and it goes unchecked. Vivian Reed gives you, whatever, gives you everything. Vivian Reed is incredible. Hydro Crace is incredible. <laughs> hey, Killer Panda. So no blue mana. We're on the draw. If we hit a land in one of our first in our first two draws, we just get to slam Jade Light on on turn two. Like turn two Jade Light, of course, is good, and filter from there. Um. King Tull says keep. I think Mulligan. The thing is, if we don't hit the second land, you know, if we don't draw a land in the first two, we just basically are losing that game. And there's just not really a reason, with how powerful our cards are and everything, there's just not really a reason to take the risk. And the upside of that hand isn't really necessarily stronger than an average six. Well, the the main upside would be if we would have drawn an untapped blue source on turn two and had Thief on turn two. But the thing is, is Thief of Sanity, you need... You really need a lot of mana for Thief of Sanity because you have your cards that you want to play plus your opponent's cards. So having a very low land count with Thief of Sanity doesn't really take advantage of Thief. We, we don't have any branch walkers in this deck. Yeah, if only you could play land stolen from the opponent. Yep, absolutely. This could get spell pierced. So risk I was taken there by not shocking. Better to kill like the 5 5 or the X4 that gets really big. Thief should be a 1 5? That would make Thief so much better. I don't think it needs to be a 1 5.
So right now we get to Krasis for five. Uh, I unfortunately have another Krasis down at the bottom. I think I'd rather have like Krasis for seven next turn. Potentially draw a land Krasis for eight. Yeah, you could probably make Thief a 1-3. I think it's... Mm, I'm not sure if it's more powerful as a 1-3. You know, not dying to shock and stuff. It'd probably change up removal plate a little bit. But... It's been a good hand for the opponent. So close. So close. Ugh, I need to kill the Terramander earlier, not the Crackling Drake. The Crackling Drake would have only put me down to one. So close. Yeah, finality just a little late. Very good hand for the opponent. Very nice. Okay, Playcrafter, absolutely. Harpooners, absolutely. Relic Seeker, yes. Duress, yes. Ah, that's true. They would have had they would have been able to buff the other one. True, true, true. Yeah, I could have played around thought rate. I could have played around spell pierce the whole time. With them already ditching it one spell pierce, I didn't. Um, but yeah, if I, I could have paid the two life to play around Spell Pierce and been able to take a Terramander or a Crackling Drake from their hand. That certainly could have been the difference there. You know, not, not exactly clear if I still win, but that would have been, you know, shocking would have, uh, helped us out more. So we're not cutting Vivian. Vivian is just incredible in this matchup. Basically, never cutting Vivian against most decks. Getting rid of Thief of Sandy. And... And Elf. I think we're just back on cutting elves against everything. So are elves better than incubation druids? I don't know. I would never, ever, ever cut Vivian against Drakes. Just actual never. Man. This hand. If I didn't have Jade Light, I would not be keeping, but since I have Jade Light... Even this because of Jade Light. If they don't have shock. You know, they probably would have shocked the elf, but nothing, uh, you know, never like really stopped on any turn. It just kind of kept on going. I think they have Spell Pierce then.
Shuffler so broken. We are playing 25 lands in this deck. A little, you know, one more than... A lot, a lot of times with, like, Soul Tide X, you see, like, 24. We have 25 here. I should be able to trophy that land of War Elf, and then I get a land. It's my land of War Elf. I know we don't have the black mana, we can't actually cast trophy, but I'm just saying. That's a lot of cards that are not land. Can't really beat Dive Down. We know they have a Spell Pierce. No Dive Down. We have 24 lands with the 46 cards, so over half of our deck are lands now. And there's the spell pierce. Like getting that out of their hand so that like if we draw a black source assassin's trophy he has a better chance of resolving. Alright, so there's our loss. We're three and one. We can still get to our five win plateau. Some unfortunate drawing on our part, on our part, for sure. All right, four lands. I man, this is so many lands. I don't even know what to do my, with myself. This is so many lands. We can actually cast our spells. So as per control, Land Worlds and Incubation Druid, probably our worst cards to be drawing here. They'll just get swept swept up by Kai's Wrath. <laughs> hey orange juice. GG's. Yeah, that was a, a whole lot of cards that were just, it was just one land, but I guess that happens. Um. 
Why why would you tap my green source? Why would you do that, deck? What you got? I think I'm going to be boarding out fine out or find finality. I'm like less and less impressed with find finality and make this kind of match up like. It's only good, like, really, really late game. Having find in your opening hand against control, it's just a dead card. We got three power on the ba on the battlefield now. Um, I want to entice my opponent into casting Akaya's Wrath, and then if they Akaya's Wrath, we would get our land werewolf back. No We'd still have double rank. green mana for Vivian. Well, now drawing that Hydroid Crisis, this is different. I'm going to go ahead and uh, Divination oh, Crisis here. So I don't get attacked with the Land War off. Cast Down, another card that I'm going to be sideboarding out. I'm just gonna have this land of werewolf just kind of tucked away. I don't think I really need to play it. Hurry! I need to somehow resolve Vivian, which won't be easy. Go, hostage taker, go. Stop that. Now. What? Oh, because I added blue, blue. Right. Right. I need to add black, black. I was just wanting to tap those two lands and just kind of chose an option. It's alright though. They didn't tap both of our green sources, thankfully. We can still play that. Cool, they didn't have the double counter spell. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. Meet my newest friend. Hmm. You know what? I'm not done yet. <laughs> yeah, Joy, I don't think you just play Shock because of that, that really random league of just having Rakdos, three mono reds, and a mono blue. I don't think that. I'll be back. That's just a just like very, before. you know, like that's just a really small sample of 
only four matches kind of thing. So I don't think you change your main deck because of that. Time for plan B. All right, good. Got the thief protected now. So, keep up the pace. You know, like our we're gonna be attacking our Teferi, that Teferi with like this hostage taker, and our opponent's gonna have to kill the hostage taker, and so then we'll get the thief back. So like basically, you know, they'll have to use kind of it's kind of like they have to use two removal spells for the thief. They could certainly have multiple removal spells, but. Make them, make them have it. All right, sideboard time. We drew a very bad part of our game, game one. Very bad part of our deck, game one. We don't want these land elves or these cast downs. Or one of those fine finalities. Get rid of all those things. Much rather have these counter spells and everything. I'll take a play crafter. I'll take Vraska and Frilled Mystic. So that's 61. Got a couple hostage takers too. I want Brontodon or do I want to play this card? I don't really. I don't really want to play this card. Because right now my deck has. I, mean, I guess we got the Krasis too. We got 12, 14, 15, 16, 17 creatures. I guess we'll play a second find. Yeah, Bronte's not bad. Bronte's not bad. Do I want Bronte over second find? Do I want over the taker? Yeah, we probably don't need taker. Alright, I'll play Bronte over taker. Bronte's not so bad. No, I like Playcrafter a whole lot. Not only is it an, an easy answer to... Um, easy answer to Teferi, but then they also usually have more sideboard, like more creatures after sideboard. Yeah, we're a 25 land deck, you know, kind of right in the middle, like a, a good spot to have. So having six land and one land, just, it's really rough. We just don't, don't really have a, a chance here. Yeah, same kind of thing that happened first game. It's like, or like, not the first game, the last match.
So I, I am able to trophy as Kanta. Um. So I, I can take Mortify, so like especially so Mortify they cannot kill my Druid. That's like the the big thing is them killing my Druid. And then they play as Kanta, and then I trophy as Kanta. They get sure they get a basic, but they already have lots of lands. Ooh, nice choice. Yeah, they could hold Ascanta for days. That's fine. Oh, they they had Thought Razor, Thought Razor, Mortify. They may not have kept a, just a ton of land. Alright, no removal. Shock. No. I'm known for my excellent timing. Time is much more malleable. I would not say that timing was excellent, TBH. We will meet again. Is Teferi making dinner plans with me or something? Like Brazilian steakhouse? We will meet again. Nine. Ah, I can't see their graveyard. I don't I don't want to see this card. Thank you. Okay, so they have six cards in the graveyard. Let's see. Do I play Thief? Or nah. Probably nah. If I if I trophy on opponent's upkeep, they get the Ascanta trigger. They get this trigger if I wait till their upkeep. Does you know make them cast their use their mana during their turn, but whatever. I didn't want them to have this uh, this trigger to be able to you know to get the scry one. All right, fairy down. They needed to put one more card over there to make it seven cards. They could have had like a counter spell that if I would have played the thief, that would have been their seventh card. So they have exactly enough to activate Ascanta and find Kaya's Wrath, unfortunately. Tilt. Tilt. Hey Karen with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. That is sub number three on the day. Let's get some hype in the in the chat for that. Sub right there. Gets our sub battle countdown down to 197. Counting this thing down. Must be nice. King Toll, keep it family friendly. Yep, that's game. We almost got there on our mold of five with just a, a frilled mystic and an incubation druid. But we did not. Dang. So close. So close. So three and two.
So we kind of had like a, a different version of, of Sultai here, you know, like without the explore creatures and everything. And, and honestly, kind of without the explore creatures, and if we're going like Thought Erasure and Thief of Sanity, it didn't really seem like Llanowar Elf, you know, like we boarded it out basically every round. It just didn't seem like something that we really needed. Um, to be fair, Llanowar Elf is kind of a better game one card. Games two and three usually get a lot more grindy and, and you know, um, don't need as much there. Um, no, Esper Control is not a bit too good. No, not at all. Um, I kind of wanted to see... I don't know. If, if we get rid of Llanowar Elf, we could maybe have more, like, Frilled Mystic kind of thing. I don't know. It just... Not having Branch Walker and Jade Light... I can't, I can't possibly imagine that not having Branch Walker and Jade Light is the way to go, to be honest. Branch Walker and Jade Light are just so good at, at uh, you know, smoothing your draw steps and everything and, and going and finding your Krasis and having you hit your land drops and everything like that. I, I can see not playing Wild Growth Walker. You know, we played a, a similar deck to this that felt a whole lot better to me. Uh, we played this the other day. I liked this just a whole lot more. Um, like with Thief. I could see not playing Wild Growth Walker maybe. If you don't want to do that, but even still, I probably should. Like these these cards are just awesome. Like you know, Wildgrowth Walker fixes your aggro matchup. Thief helps out like with your control matchup and everything. Um, and yeah, so that's like a, a similar version of Soul Tie that we played the other day, and I I liked how this one felt quite a bit. But. There we go. That's Sultai Sanity. So, uh, nothing wrong with 3 2. All right, we got a couple more decks here. Up next, we got Abzan Legends and then Van Vanifar. Um, I don't think it's really worth to have a few dive downs. No. I don't think you really need dive downs. No. Um, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.